let's continue the discussion a little bit. So the question was, why can't we use electricity as an example? And electricity is also can be used only for the purpose of what? For the purpose of saying it's what makes the appliance function. Mm -hmm. Nothing else in the appliance can make the appliance function. Something has to come which is invisible. Okay. Some duty is there which is invisible that just goes in and then makes the appliance function. There's a beauty. There's a beauty to that electricity example. And so here, Grihadina, okay, again, similar concept. The only purpose there is to say there has to be somebody that activates the house, that makes the house a home, that makes the house a home, okay, if I can use that. Okay, that person, that human being is needed for that. So like that, you can, you can uh, look at it. And all these examples of limitations. So you can't stretch the example too much. Grihadina example, you can't you can't stretch it too much. Yeah. Good. So Maheshi, good point. Yeah, Maheshi is not there, I think. Here. Some others use the example of petrol and battery in a toy car. Petrol and battery. Yeah. Some Jinmyananda uses petrol. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, yeah, think about it. Let's think about it. Yeah. So, Apna, go ahead. Hmm. That same problem is now repeating. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Can you uh, hear yes. me now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um. So, mantra four really um i cannot i am not able to understand so why is the word atma being used here when this atma which resides in the body gets detached as okay. it is freed from the body what remains in this body so is uh, this is atma is this another uh, word that is being used for prana apana because but the Atma doesn't get detached, right? Yeah, Atma cannot detach, but the word detach is being used here. Right. It's being used here. So it can't be the it can't be Satchidananda Atma. It has to be uh, the Atma that is that has the capacity to leave. Which Atma can leave, if you ask? Is there an Atma that can leave? Ask. Yeah, so that is the Atma, that is the Jiva Atma, that is the Chidabhasa, that is the Karana Shariram that we say keeps all the karma with it and keeps going from one body to another body. Vasamsi Jirnani. Yatha Viha, yeah. That, see, in the second chapter, everything is talking about the Nirguna Atma, except this verse, Vasamsi Jirnani. You can't apply it. Because what is Vasamsi Jirnani saying? Vasam Sijir Nani Yatha Vihayan Nani Grinati Shari Naroparani Tatha Shari Rani Vihaya Jir Nani Anyani Samyati Namani Dehi. There, what is he saying? It's just like the human being drops off one set of clothes and wears another set of clothes. So, also the Atma gives up this body and goes and takes on another body. Which Atma it is? Is it that Atma? Dehi Nityama Vadhyoyam Dehi Sarvasya Bharata Is that the same Dehi? Okay. Okay. Avyakto Yamachintyoyam Avikaryo Yamuchate Is that the Atma? No. Can't be that Atma. That Atma is all pervasive. It can't move anywhere. It can't move from one body to another body. Therefore, we say Chidatma, I mean, we say Chidabhasa, or we can say Karana Sharira, or sometimes Sukshma Sharira, all these words are used. So, that first, uh, that entire mantra is referring to that, that moving Atma, leaving and entering Atma, constantly leaving and entering Atma. And it doesn't talk about Satchidananda Atma at all, this mantra. 
Right, okay. right. So that is coming from other mantras. But mantra five is indi indicating Sajidat. Uh, uh... Yeah, yes, yes. But see, mantra four also is indicating. Etad Vaitat, he said. Etad Vaitat, there. There he is saying, you can look at the meaning Etat Vaitat in two ways. If, if you asked for that Atma that survives death, that, then traveling Atma also survives death. Non-traveling Atma also survives death. Traveling Atma survives death. Body is gone. But I am not gone. The, the Jiva is not gone. It is just taking on another body. So you can look at Etat Vaitat in two ways, right? Right, because, right. Because he asked the question. If you are if you interpret Nachiketa's question as, is there something surviving the body after death? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the question here is Kimatra Parishishyate, what remains in this body? So that Etat Vaitat, right? Correct. And which is what is mantra five? Explaining further. Correct. Correct. So here the atma is not satchitatma. Uh, so yeah. So if uh, some tikakaras will stretch it and say you you should you should infer satchitatma from here. See, consciousness is not really speaking, consciousness is not coming from the moving atma, Chidabas. Karna Sharira, because they are also Mithya also. They are Mithya, they are also Samhatam. They are not Asamhatam. The minute you say Asamhatam, it is referring to Sachidananda Atma. You can't bring in any other entity here. So in this mantra, both are mixed up. What both are mixed up? This moving Chidabhasa, Karna Sharira, Sukshma Sharira, that is moving. Huh? Is is talked in along with the same breath as the unmoving, okay, asamhatam atma. Okay, that that is the way to look at. That's why earlier I said before I introduced the mantra itself, Swamiji had said, which I mentioned to you, it is what it's all mixed up. The word dehi, the word dehi will be mixed up. Atma can mean chidabasa, or it can mean chaitanyam. All these things are. In one of the previous classes, I think uh, at satsang, we determined that uh, uh, Atma, uh, e even after death, right, uh, Atma is still there, right? Because Atma is ev is everywhere, right? It's, yeah, Sachidananda Atma. Right, right. Yeah, so that idea has been coming and going, right? Yeah, even if you look at first mantra also, Puram Ekadasha Dvara. Okay. It is a Tvampada Upadesha, really speaking. Vimuktascha Vimuchyate, Etad Vaitate. So that which is there in the body, Ekadasha Dvara, Ajasya Avakra Chetasaha. So that body which belongs to this Ajaha. The unborn means referring to Satchidananda Atma. You can't say that the Sukshma Shariram is unborn. You can't say that Karana Shariram is unborn. You can't say Chidabhasa is unborn. Because it's all born. Very important entity, but still born. And so one is moving. When you have to, when you want to move, look at the, the moving atma. That is what is referred to in the mantra. And then Etad Vaitat says, yeah, you go ahead and study more about it and you'll find that Satchidananda Atma from this moving. First, you have to go from what? From the body. Charvaka's view. Hey, there is nothing other than the body. Basmi Bhutasya Dehasya Kutaha Agamanam. This body and then it's gone. It's the dead body. It's gone. After that, the story is over. 
from that story is over idea you have to go to you know the story continues pasam si jirna ki yatha vihari there is a jump from there to there then from there we have to jump to sachidananda correct moving atma to non moving atma. so it's a two steps are there. that lad two three steps are there. from negative to positive but it is true it is true that in this mantra number 4 both are mixed both are mixed up because the word asamhata is used by bashikara asamhata can only refer to sachidananda atma it is like saying nirgunam the minute nirgunam word is used there is only one nirgun mm-hmm. so yes so there is there is a potential cause for confusion you have to separate the two yeah so this yeah. mantra by itself doesn't tell us what atma is it's simply saying hey there is something other than pranana that's all it's saying it doesn't explain much it doesn't tell you how to identify that atma yeah mira go ahead <clears throat> Guruji, my point on this electricity thing was, we use that electricity example to uh, to distinguish between shwasa and I mean uh, existence, the jiva existence and the prana. Like you are alive because of prana. Prana is different from shwasa. Prana, pra, prana is the pancha prana. So how do you know the pancha prana exists? You use the electricity example. Just like you don't see electricity, you don't see prana, but you know it exists when the light comes on. <laughs> yeah, correct. So we use that example there. Correct. No, then the electricity example is good, definitely. So that's why Mahesh ji brings up a good point. Electricity example is good. I I thought uh, Guru ji even better was dream because in dream you don't have the separation of you know you. there is you feel that something else is there exist only in the dream but when you are awake you know for sure that everything was you so what left was that your identification that you were identified maybe that thought because that is more subtle than because we are trying to understand with respect to gross it is very difficult to understand with the 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 cause is very close to the subtle rather than the gross yeah the cause is say that now the volume is better yeah the cause is the cause i feel is much as so closer to the subtle than the gross so the body how much ever we try to figure out it is very difficult because just like yesterday i was seeing parmartananda ji that quote which he quoted from another upanishad i don't remember which he said like and you also keep quoting that uh, from the thought the actions actions and habits and character so it all is t- originating from the thought i believe that something is a part of it other than me so then how can we connect with the body and uh, relate to the example it is probably very closer to the now chaitanya swarupam what is very close is very difficult to um cognize with this mind so we have to as close we can get is probably the thought i think that i am identifying myself with these things that is why i travel the traveler yeah. is person who thinks yeah so the two certain things one is one is the non traveling subtle which is atma the other is the traveling subtle traveling subtle because clearly there is travel so every birth implies travel and so chida bhasha karna shariram all that we use those words for the traveling atma which means it's localized atma <coughs> so yeah so we can we just have to be aware of that based on the context can we say the person who stays in the house wishes to travel he 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 wants to travel and it is trying to say the person who wants to travel the house has to be taken care of 
So it is like you want to travel, so you have to, dip, the, the Atma is the one which allows you to travel. They have to be careful. I mean, I just stretch the example a little. Uh, if the guy goes, the house will perish. That's all. That's the only. That's all, that's all you have to take. There is no some. You can't borrow. The, the jiva cannot say another jiva. Please sit here for some time until I come. You know that, that won't work. <laughs> Somebody coming and cleaning the house is emergency care. No, yeah. no, I was trying to say it. It will not the. Thing is, like it will not affect the Atma when the Jiva travels. It is the decision of the Jiva to travel because Atma anyways doesn't decide, right? Okay. So your point is what? So I decide to travel. So my house has to be taken care of. And it will be taken care of only when I am traveling. It will be taken care of by a person like I'm the person who will travel with me. I mean, so, so anyway, the taking care of the house is not the point at all here, right? If I am there, the house is taken care of. If I am gone, the house is gone. That's all. When I am gone, somebody else should take care of it. Idea, it should not come at all. That is just I said. That I said because just to say that if nobody takes care of it, the house collapses. That's why I said it. But there is no question at all of that. There is no other I mean, jiva. No, no other jiva can take care of this body. Only one jiva can take care of this body. No, my point was the atma doesn't need any care. That's okay. Yeah, that is fine. That is atma tattva. Yeah. The jiva needs the care. That's fine. That's all fine. That's all fine. Yes. Yeah. Prasad, go ahead. Okay. Uh, so the Satchidananda Atma is that real self which is aware, not which is aware of, right? So here, the what whatever we have been discussing, uh, this Dehi is that which is aware of, right? The first point, which is aware of. So, um, and then you actually use the word travel and uh, not travel. So, let me use that word, tra not travel. So, in the example of sun and uh, moon, it is actually the reflection of the sun. The sun, moonlight is nothing but sunlight in one sense. Now, if that is so, when, uh, when the person dies, it is said that, uh, today also we discussed, uh, apart from the uh, sukshma sharira, it also it's a, not an individual entity sukshma sharira itself. It combines with this antra, uh, the travel one, the travel uh, atma, which you call. So that is what is carried on for the next uh, life, right? So here is a conflict for me. The uh, when we say that it is nothing but atma. Uh, even though it's a reflected consciousness, but in one sense, it is nothing but the consciousness, uh, like a sun and moon example. So what is the necessity for that uh, untra uh, the travel one going with uh, uh, with this uh, sukshma sarira to travel? So we are talking about uh, two things here. One is that it's traveling uh, at the time of death. Actually, this is something which is aware of. That's uh, my first point, actually. So, which I know, like it is saguna. The reflected conscious, what you are talking about is saguna. And it actually travels along with the sukshma sarira. Uh, but uh, the other point, other side uh, is that the if you take the example of sun and moon, and what is reflected in me, all the body consciousness and mind consciousness, it is part of that uh, saguna only. But in, uh, in many parts, it is said, even in some uh, uh, Upanishads also, you're talking about, it is nothing but that. So, uh, moonlight is nothing but sunlight. So, the, and the, uh, the, the, the real self is always exists. So that is uh, achintyam, uh, whatever we call it. So, but here, so you see the difference, what I'm talking about. One is like, which is traveling. Other one is the real consciousness. But then why it should travel? Because it always exists. 
Yeah, there is a transaction. See, if Atma is Nirgunam and if Atma is all pervasive, then why there is so much, why is there is world, so much activity is going on in the world? Why there is plurality? Suppose, why there is, is plurality there or not? Suppose somebody asks the question. Is there plurality or not? Yeah, and the real sense, yes, it is. If I am not it's up it. Yeah, if I am not, it's there, it's there. And if I am advaiting, then what happens? No, it is all delusion, illusion. So, I mean, the it's, not, it's not delusion. It's not, yeah. So, it's a superimposition because you have to deal with people. Advaita Vedanti cannot escape from this world, okay? In, the, in terms of transaction, the person is has to transact. Okay? Everything operates exactly like before. So, so it's all happening. It's all happening. Everything happens exactly like before, including Sukshma Sharira, etc. Sukshma Sharira has a function, like the body has a function. Every entity has a function. The clock has a function. This the tablet has a function. Everything has a function. Like that, that Sukhma Sharira also has a function. You just told me Sukhma Sharira is Mithya. Yeah, every Mithya thing has a function. And what is the function of the Sukhma Sharira? To make this, this body tick. Number one. And once it says, no, this body is, un, is, is not capable of keeping me. Then its function is to move. That is the function of Sharira. Atma is not going. Just like so many things are happening, Surpashari also is a, is a thing that is happening. You just you and I can't see Surpashari. That's all. So where is the conflict? No, the Sushma Sharira is fine. But uh, the Sushma Sharira is uh, when you talk about the whole thing, like uh, the uh, the Panchaprana, then we talk about mind, uh, all that. But we are actually including this uh, the uh, uh, the uh, travel uh, atma, which is uh, uh, the the reflected consciousness, so that we are actually including. Chida bhasa, karna sharidam. Mm -hmm. Okay, the thing is reflected consciousness, really speaking. But chida bhasa, karna sharidam. So the thing that travels, okay, that we say carries all the karma with it. And based on yatha karma, yatha shritam, we will come to see it later. Just based on that karma, it will take on some other body. This is what we call the traveling atma, correct? Okay, let it be. Just like everything else, Chidabhaza is another finite entity. The minute you say finite entity, then it will have some function. It has to have a resume. And the resume of that Chidabhaza is this is to provide the karma to the jiva. It is also reflected consciousness only. Okay. The difference is it's so subtle. You can only infer it. You can't see it. You can infer it because of the logic that nothing really can be created or destroyed, including karma also. And so you have to assume this traveling GR. So no conflict to talk. It's another traveling thing. The minute you say finite, anything can happen. The finite can be like a mountain. It's always there, never travels. Or it can be just too subtle but travels. Atma is not traveling. There's no conflict. Atma cannot travel. No, Atma is not traveling, but the moment I exist as a body and mind complex, so Karakarana Sangata has come into picture, then uh, I, I am already a consciousness, which is actually reflected in the sense of like to make my body Chetana, body and mind, a body sense complex. So, uh, and uh, the, the pure consciousness always exists. So the moment when this comes into picture, the body, mind, sense complex, then it automatically has this uh, consciousness from uh, the pure consciousness. So, but then we are saying here that it is also traveling, which is reflected. So the knower, the knower, uh, somebody becomes knower because of the self, uh, the reflected consciousness, Achidabhasa. That is always possible, the moment self-consciousness, which is already existing all the time, whether I am, as a body I am there, as, as not there. 
Yeah, so the moment when I come into existence as a body and mind sense complex, it's also automatically reflected. So, but in between, as I move from one complex to the other complex, this we are talking about as reflecting. So, but I, like why conflict is because in the example of sun and moon, so the moon light is nothing but the sunlight. When the pure consciousness is always there, then the, the moment uh, it comes into existence, the body, then reflected consciousness is automatically there. That's what I, that is where the, the conflict which I'm thinking. So the sukshma sirira, I am, uh, in other words, sukshma sirira, I am separating it from, in one, for the sake of discussion, I am separating it from self, uh, the reflected, the chidabhasa. Yeah. So, consciousness can manifest in, in ways, any way, anything you describe is a manifestation of consciousness. Any concept you describe is a manifestation of consciousness. Including body mind. Whether that concept is Chidabhasa, Sukra Sharira, Rahankara, or anything like that, words you use. It is an entity, because the minute you talk about the body, there has to be something. Some gross things are there in the body, subtle things are also there in the body. Okay. But all of them have a function. The minute you say something is reflected, that means you are talking about an entity that will have a function. It has to have a function. It has to have a function, it has to have a location also. So, once you assign function and location, location you already said in the body. When you say in the body, it means you are finitized it already. You have made something finite. That means it's reflected. Reflection means you are giving a location and saying, oh, consciousness is reflecting here in my mind. And I'm going to call that reflected consciousness as Chidabhasa. You've given a name also. Okay, so you're finitized it. The minute you finitized it, now you, anybody can give any function to it. Moving is also part of the function. Like the moon but is moving. The body drops, which is also part of the saguna. It is also but, part. But we are only keeping the uh, sukshma serira part. <laughs> so, I mean, that's a function. That is the function of the sukshma serira. We are keeping nahi hai. That is a, any, any finite has a function. And one finite called the body and one finite called the Sukhma Sharira or Chidabhasa become a partner for life. Become a partner for life. Until that life ends. That also is part of the law. Partnership is also for a certain period. After that what? The gross body doesn't go anywhere. Technically, gross body also moves. Why it moves? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. It goes on. I Where think is... Prasadji's uh, question, uh, I was trying to understand. Probably you're quoting the shelf life. I think even Sukshma Sharira and the, uh, the Stula Sharira, everything has a shelf life also. <laughs> Sukshma Sharira shelf life is my uh, nirvana. Till that time, that continues. No, yeah, no, I exactly. think the karma, the coat of the karma, what we carry makes the body, right? So, yeah. so it has so, to exhaust. So, so the minute you finitize it, uh, Prasad, you have to be prepared. You have to be prepared to give it all kinds of things. You can't limit it. You can't say this can't have that function and all you can't say. So, if you is unique, it will have a function, including motion. Including motion. Because this body, when you say located, finite, any finite object can move. Anywhere. Agama Pai. Agama Pai. Comes here, goes off. Goes off, yeah. not destroyed. Goes, it is moving. It is moving. Yeah, think about Actually, it. Actually, I removed moon in the example. So, it's clear now. So, the uh, the moon, I remove it. So, the, the light, reflected light will not be there. Correct. Right? Correct. So I'm keeping the moon uh, and thinking of a reflected light on it. So in this case, the moment the moon is gone, the reflected is gone. Yeah, Chidabas is gone. Okay, if that helps you, that's that's good. <laughs> so 
ప్రకృతి దిస్ ఇస్ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ వెన్ వీ ట్రై టు ట్రై టు సాల్వ్ అ ప్రాబ్లమ్ దట్ రియలీ డజెంట్ ఎగ్జిస్ట్ రియలీ డజెంట్ ఎగ్జిస్ట్ రియలీ డజెంట్ ఎగ్జిస్ట్ the problem is real because for me the world is absolutely real yeah. absolutely real means all these things will be there. so so yeah i think that's we are heading in the right direction actually even in buddhism and uh, uh, <clears throat> when they talk about uh, the emptiness uh, in fact he never said that it's uh, totally empty it is actually with the use of the existing world the ultimate has to be uh, known uh, he said very clearly and agarjuna also said that i mean the the uh, vyavaharika world is not not real it is it has to be used in order to understand what is reality so even in our case it is same thing absolutely absolutely yeah yeah so yeah i'll have to go now uh yeah. a very good question uh, this word uh, uh, vishramshana is uh, equal to avasadana which we discussed long back it's the uh, same loosening uh, uh, from bondage uh, there, is, there uh, is a connection there is a connection yeah there is a connection vidvamsa destroyed the sense of getting destroyed also right so there we lose, loosening from bondage sara gets loosened then samsara gets removed yeah, yeah. there is a connection om namo bhagavate vasudevaya dhanvantaraye amrita kalasha hastaya sarva maya vinashanaya trailokyanathaya shri mahavishnave namaha thank you thank you thank you take care hari om hari om guruji